Thank you. Yeah, mister. Floor two. Uh, driver, take me to the MGM recording studios on Broadway, please. Your theme means we've arrived at our destination for a quarter hour of music by Leroy Holmes and his orchestra. Brought to you transcribed from New York for your listening pleasure by your local Air Force recruiter in cooperation with this radio station. And now this is Ed Taylor saying welcome to Manhattan Melody. talking to Leroy Holmes in just a few minutes, but first, here's some music from the motion picture Old Man and the Sea. That was movie music for the motion picture, The Old Man and the Sea. And now, Leroy, on behalf of the Air Force, we'd like to welcome you to the show. Thank you. Well, let's, uh, let's hear some more of your movie music on our show today, Leroy. What do you have next? So we have some very interesting titles, as you see, coming up. And we have one that uh, really gets me, and God Created Woman. I didn't get to see that picture with the jet part, though, but I'd, uh, we have the music anyway. This girl bounce from And God Created Woman.
more music by the Leroy Holmes Orchestra in just a few moments, but first there's a question. What do the silver wings of an Air Force flying officer symbolize? Well, first of all, these wings show the world that the man wearing them is a master of the skies. You see, Air Force pilots and navigators are thoroughly and expensively trained in subjects such as astro navigation, engineering, and electronics. These men are also taught to command the confidence of those around them and to direct and fly the most advanced aircraft with the utmost precision and skill. In the technical demanding space age, the Air Force must maintain high standards. And today's Air Force pilots and navigators are the world's finest, dedicated professional men of the skies. So young men, if you are between 19 and 26 and a half and a high school graduate, See your local Air Force recruiter about aviation cadet training. Wear the wings of leadership. Become a United States Air Force pilot or navigator. Well, Leroy, uh, the question we usually ask of all the artists that appear on the show, what is your favorite music? Well, I think this is my favorite type, motion picture scenes, done with a big orchestra of strings and everything else. I have a teenage daughter who listens to rock and roll all day long, and... Uh, while I don't object to rock and roll, I think I prefer, for my own uh, listening pleasure, motion picture themes or beautiful music by string orchestras. Well, Leroy, I sort of go along with that myself. But right now, how about some more of your particular style? And what's next? Uh, the next one will be Indiscreet, which is a song by an old friend of mine, Jimmy Van Heusen, that's from a picture, Indiscreet.
beautiful example of music from the motion pictures. And now, on behalf of the Air Force, we'd like to thank you for coming by the show. Well, thank you, sir. Hope to see you again soon. and Manhattan Melodies, presented transcribed from New York by your local Air Force recruiter in cooperation with this radio station. Leroy Holmes and his orchestra appeared on this program through the courtesy of the American Federation of Musicians. Manhattan Melodies was produced by the United States Air Force Recruiting Publicity Center for your local Air Force recruiter. And now this is Ed Taylor inviting you to join us next week at the same time for another visit with one of America's top name artists. And in the meantime, remember today and tomorrow, you're better off in the United States Air Force.